Hey, what's up guys? It's me, David Robles, and um, thank you for joining me. This is a Saturday today, and um, Saturday night, I'm working on the um, Haiti and Dominican Republic um, project. And so far, what I have at this moment, uh, I've, I've been working on is completing the flamboyant, the flower that I've been working on, and I've explained to you guys what, I've, what the flamboyant is. If you want to follow my last videos, um, it's pretty much this is the, um, the the my last videos is pretty much explaining where the flamboyant came from and the um, how the flamboyant is some um, very much seen everywhere in the Caribbean. And um, I've been researching also that I've found out that um, the flamboyant, which is called the hibiscus flower is also in Hawaii. So I would like to find out more um, how that happened. Maybe the Spaniards um, also conquered that area too. But um, right now, what I have is this, and I'm trying to get it as close as possible. You can see it's very vibrant right now. It has a lot of color. Let me just fix this. This tripod is acting up right now. So as you can see, this is, the image has changed quite a bit since we last spoke. And I've been working on is making um, these little, if you can see it right here, I'm trying to make the leaves um, look a little bit more realistic and make it pop out more. And this is, um, just made it a little bigger right now. I could make the image a little bigger now. Let me see. I hope that's better. So, if you can see right here, I went and I added some lines right here just to make it pop out more. Let me just make sure that I have it on the right. Oops. Let me see. You gotta, you gotta fix these things. I was accidentally um, wiping this whole thing out by turning it white. So, right here. So you can see I am playing around with my pen and just trying to make it pop out more. And by doing that, um, I'm just trying to make a little bit more color here. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, I've learned to like how to draw flowers. I'm very much used to drawing a lot of superhero stuff. Um, that's because that's what I, you know, Learned, that's what I got into first. And then after that, I started um, following other artists who um, learn that teach you how to oh, pretty much draw photorealistic. I joined a lot. I enjoy watching and learning from artists who draw photorealistic. And photorealistic is um, making the closest possible to making the image look as real as possible, like it's if you was looking at a photo. And there are a lot of good artists out there that know how to draw like that. So a lot of, of that is done due to like little subtleties that you have to do. And it's a lot of like lighting. If you can see right here, it's a lot of lighting and then a lot of darkness. So you're playing around a lot with um, shades. And um, one of the things I would recommend for everyone who wants to learn how to draw, I'm gonna see if I could do a tutorial sometime soon on shading just simple shading anything like let's say drawing or shading something that's like an egg a ball things like that just to practice and to you know get yourself familiar and how to draw these things i would like to like teach some people or you guys could take this as a tutorial to see you know how this whole thing works with the shading and also with um, drawing and this flower, like I mentioned before, um, is a very beautiful flower. I've seen it in DR so many times and in Puerto Rico and in Cuba and in also Jamaica. And this flower, I'm, I don't know, being like, I don't know, because it's in the Caribbean, maybe. But it is a beautiful flower. This cell flower, if you see it, is very vibrant and beautiful. It's like I want to say it's a happy flower like it's always looking up to the sun in the morning especially if you go in the morning in the caribbean and you see these flowers you always see them in the morning 
like looking towards the sun. And then later on in the in the day, you if, if when you guys go out to the Caribbean, check this out. Later on in the day, you'll see the flower um, starts going from up here in the morning, and then little by little it starts. And by the time you get to the end of the day, the flower no longer looks like the way it was from the beginning in the morning. So it's interesting. So it's a beautiful um, creation of nature, I would like to say. And this is right, pretty much what I'm working on right now. So it's Saturday. You guys should be outside. I try to make these videos as short as possible because I believe that, you know, you got to go out and live your life and enjoy it. And, you know, it's not cool to be stuck in the house all day playing video games and, you know, so go out there, have fun. And next time I'll be recording next, uh, something 